What is up, everybody? How's it going out there today in wonderful Twitch land? I am your host here on The Rising. I am hashtag Titan Rising KM. I don't know why I said hashtag. That doesn't make any sense. Um, but I am here. I am excited. Yeah, look at that timing. <laughs> we are here. We're ready to have a great stream today and continue playing this oh so loved and exciting um, game that I just cannot seem to get enough of. I can't help myself. I want more and more. The more I play it, the more I'm ready to get back into it. Um, the only things that's keeping me from streaming at a point of 24 hours right now is the fact that one, my back can't take the chair that I'm sitting in for that long and I would need sleep. And I think Kaylee might get a little angry if I'm playing a video game for 24 hours. I don't know. It's just a theory. Just a theory. Who knows? Um, thankfully, she's deep into her phone. She's not listening. Oh, oh never mind. She's listening. Ignore. Just ignoring. Uh, we have got some changes to go over real quick. I'm going to do the, the typical housekeeping. You can follow us over on YouTube at K2GamingKY. Uh, you can catch all of our past VODs, including the first three parts of the Scarlet Violet playthrough are up. The first three parts actually kind of equate. Um, yes, I'm going to talk about that here in just a second, Noodle Bop. I'm really excited about that. We've got almost enough players. Uh, we've got to get Sean Z. Fonzarelli there, Mr. Sean Wooten, into the Discord, because I think he will love the idea of this game, of uh, this um, tabletop that we're, Pokemon tabletop we're fixing to set up. Yeah, part two, The Devil and Me, will be up this evening. Three, part three. We've got part one and two. You can watch me and Kaylee get our, our pants scared off by a H.H. H. Holmes-based uh, serial killer game. Kind of, kind of, kind of freaky. Uh, <clears throat> but you can follow us over on YouTube where you can catch all of that stuff at K2 Gaming KY. Uh, give a subscribe. Give a like, comment, and share those videos, please. Get those out. We're trying to grow the channel, and I appreciate each and every person that tries to help. Uh, looks like we got a Klefki in chat, so if you want to hit a exclamation pokey catch, if you're interested in a Klefki. I believe it is up for grabs right now. Um, next, you can follow us over on Twitter uh, at K Two Gaming KY. I'm at the I'm at Titan Rising KM, and Kaylee is at Lost Girls Like Us. You can't tell over by the little Discord icon. There is something now. It says the Rising. You got to re-download Discord. Okay, I'll talk. We're going to talk about that in just a second. We now have a Discord server for this channel. Uh, for our, our Twitch channel and our YouTube, we've got that going on. You'll give me just a second. I'll get the code to share that with each and every one of you all. And we'll put it in chat throughout the... Um, we'll put it in the chat if I can find it. How do I share this? Doodlebop, uh, if you're here, I know you're still in chat. Do me a favor, if you don't mind. Uh, share the uh, the the code to join our Discord and chat, and I'll copy it, and I can keep doing it throughout the day. Right now, I'm looking for it, and I can't seem to find it, and it's going to distract me. Um, yeah, we'll make sure that we get that out for everybody to see. Um, once I can't seem to find it. Hey, I got. Why am I not finding this? But moving forward, um, Sean, I need you to uh, interact with me and chat a little bit. Sean, do you like Dungeons and Dragons? Do, 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 waiting for <laughs> Sean, unfortunately, is out of work with the flu. But hey, he said good news and bad news. I've got the flu, but good news is, is I finally get to play um, Scarlet and Violet. And poor Sean is a uh, surgical tech who was on call the weekend that the game dropped. And yeah, it was rough. R-U-F-F. -F, rough. Uh, as Kingsley would say. How would you like to play a Discord-based Pokemon D&D? waiting to see the response. Uh, Sean is actually someone that I play D&D um, &D with a lot. 
um in real life like we played some games and stuff together um we had a fun little story mode going that never really got to finish based on him finishing up nursing school uh we didn't really have time to get everything done but it was a lot of fun while we were playing it surgical techs do more work than i do oh you're not a surgical tech you're a surgical nurse i am sorry um but how would you like to play a pokemon dnd because we're going to be setting that up over in the rising uh it's going to be a lot of fun i know confeticals uh when she sees or hears this or hops in the chat later, I'll get to share that with her. But yeah, we're gonna we've now got a Discord. If anybody wants to hop over and join that's not already there that's viewing. Um we've got a lot of different channels. We're taking server uh we're taking channel suggestions or server suggestions right now. Um doing D and D and it'll be and I'll be and being a DM. So yeah, that'll be awesome. We're trying to get a group together. It'll be excited to do Pokemon D and D. I'm about to sneeze. I tried to get myself muted before that first sneeze and it did not work. A little understanding about that. I have been diagnosed with strep for the fourth time since August. Can you Thank send you. me the invite link? Yeah, I will. I can absolutely do that. I have this. Lost Girls Like Us has a Discord. Please tell me you name yourself Lost Girls Like Us. <laughs> Kaylee's about to be in the Discord. <laughs> uh, I need to make her a moderator. Is that something you can do? <laughs> Doodlebop, can you make Kaylee a moderator? Because, you know. It's it's kind of her Discord too. Uh, but just hey, 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 hey! No, oh, it was tissue. Give me back a tissue. Hey, mommy, here's a tissue. <laughs> Trying to keep her, keep her distracted. Listen, these dogs think tissues are treats, so they try to they try to eat them up. Okay, I've chatted a lot. I'm not sure. I'm probably missing something in housekeeping. Yeah, it has expired. The what? Yeah, she's working on that. Um, but I've been diagnosed with strep for the fourth time since August. This time I caught it like super, super duper early. What I thought was um, an upper respiratory infection or a sinus infection or, some, or just a really bad case of allergies. Uh, I decided with it being Thanksgiving week that I was going to go and get a early test, try to make sure uh, that I was not contagious with anything like the unfortunate uh, vid. I did not want to be dealing with that, and so I decided that it was time to, to get a quick test. Uh, no flu was negative, vid was negative, uh, strep was positive, uh, and like I said, it's been the fourth time that I've had strep since August. Um, I got really frustrated and, and I was like, can we do a throat culture or something? So we're looking to see if there's something kind of hanging out in there that needs to be taken care of. Um, and you know, we're just going to try to make sure that all of that is, uh, taken care of. Uh, Hey, 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 where are you at? What are you barking at? But so I did have them give me a steroid shot and a antibiotic shot to kind of go ahead and move us forward and counteract. So my blood sugar is a little high today. I am going to admit that I am not feeling the hottest because of that, but nothing's going to keep me from Pokemon and hanging out here in the chat with you guys uh, and catching some Pokemon in the Pokemon community game. But yeah, I took a shot of Rosefin last night. And if any of y'all have ever had a shot of Rosefin, that is like putting liquid, uh, like putting lava in your body system, it burns and it tightens muscles and it feels just like you're introducing the worst foreign substance in the world. Like, and I'm pretty sure that it felt like they hit like a nerve because that stuff shot plumb to my feet. But usually they 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 give you lidocaine prior to uh, taking that receptor shot. They'll they'll swab some lidocaine on there and it kind of uh, it kind of numbs the area a little bit and helps. Uh, that process of that go in and take time and it doesn't burn nearly as bad. It just is a little uncomfortable. 
They were out of lidocaine last night, so I took that shot right in my derriere. Yep. Mm -hmm. It was bad. It was bad. Well, enough chitter chatter. It's time to pitter patter. Let's get at her. Here we are. Uh, is that one not? Okay, it didn't work. Let me try it again. Is it the link that's not working or like what's it doing? Yeah, I did a bop. We'll do that first thing. What's up? Oh, ho, 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 ho. it's Ethan Abel. Holy cow. What's up, buddy? This man right here is about to drop the hottest rap album of the year, y'all. If he can ever get it in between football, baseball, basketball, wrestling, um, Saturn Biscuits. What's up, Lacey? Oh my goodness, my kiddos. I'm so excited. It always makes me excited when, uh, when, when, my, uh, when my kiddos from school hop in. It's great to see you guys. I hope you all are enjoying this extended uh, Thanksgiving break. I'm having a great time with it. Um, I'm not sure if you all were here for a second ago when I gave the masses feel that I have strep for the fourth time since school started. I don't know who in what class I'm working in is passing that stuff around me, but I'm catching it like crazy. But Ethan over here gonna drop the hottest Ralph album. Um, thank you. I'm having a great one so far. Oh my gosh, Strip's killing me. But Ethan's over here saying he's gonna hop, drop the hottest rap album after uh, he gets his um, done with football, basketball, baseball, um, track, cheerleading, wrestling, gymnastics, going to the gym six times a day, being the best math student he possibly can be, playing God of War Ragnarok. Am I missing any of your things there, uh, Ethan? By the way, Lacey, love the, the name Saturn Biscuits. That's awesome. If you go on, you can click invite on Discord and copy a link and post it. Yeah, let me try that. Where, where did you say that was? Oh, I found it. Okay. Um... If you guys have any interest in joining the Discord, um, I'm going to share it again here, and I'm going to send one that I just directly got to Kaylee, because I don't know if it ever went through to her just a moment ago. <laughs> I got everything. Good. As long as I got everything that... Okay, we'll, we'll take care of it later, sweetheart. Kaylee's trying to get into the Discord. Um... So yeah, let's hook up and do that trade. Um, there, uh, doodle bopped. Connect to the internet. Do you just want to do a link trade instead of trying to set up a, a union circle, doodle bopped, or do you want to try to run around together for a little bit? Because I know you've got stuff going on. I'm pretty sure I have this Pikachu. Okay, cool. <coughs> Sorry. No! Do the boss, we're gonna do my favorite code. 2580 I'll throw that in the chat for you. Um, you're probably on it, but I'm just making sure that we got it. I'm having a really hard time telling myself that I don't need to use um, all three starter Pokemon in this playthrough. But there's a couple of Pokemon that I really do want to play around with, so I think I'm going to avoid that at all costs. And it would probably end up replacing my Char Cadet, and I really don't want to replace my Char Cadet. Uh, okay.
Don't know what happened there. Bob, uh, I'll let you set up a code. That's obviously not working. Someone's using my code. Someone's using my code. So you send me a code and we'll we'll run from there. That, like that's always been my battle code and everything that bothers me someone has my code is this you MP or are we on is this a rando Okay, cool. So here's your, uh, here is your Quaxley egg. Sorry, we just found out that uh, family members that we get really, really excited about coming in for Thanksgiving is only about an hour away. Um, and Kaylee and I was just talking about what is our process going to be uh, for that. I mean, where they're staying and where they're going to be at is such a long trek from our house. It is absolutely awful. I mean, it's exhausting. It's... Be right back. I don't know what's going on. We're getting phone calls. It's, I guess it's the time of the, the year that we're in. Oh, I really meant to try to catch this manky. I hope I haven't missed it. Uh, Ethan and um, Lexi, if you guys are interested, we play a game here called, in uh, in the chat. for uh, It's called the Pokemon Community Game. If you hit <clears throat> exclamation Pokey Start, you'll be given your first Pokemon. And once you have your first Pokemon, you will be able to um, use uh, exclamation Poke Catch, and you will be able to catch the Pokemon that pop up in our chat. And you get to have your own little Pokedex as we play Pokemon. Hey, cool! So Doodle, Doodle Bopped and I both got it. Uh, I'm gonna put Palmont down for just a little bit while we try to hatch this egg. Um, where are we going? I need to set my. Uh, Yep, so just hit, um, yep, there you go. And you got to start with a Mudkip. I'm kind of jealous. Uh, Mudkip's one of my favorite Pokemon, so the fact that you're able to, to start with that is a little too cool, in my opinion. Okay, so we're trying to get to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast travel to here. You got a Chigger Rita? That's awesome. I forget what I got. I accidentally think I sold my starter to get money for Pokeballs. Okay, cool. So we're going to, we're in this area. 
and we're going to start working our way, I think, yeah, here we go, I got to get a ping at this item. Oh, wow, that was, that was really fast. Holy cow, that was so fast. Oh, I got my Fue Coco. Oh, it's partially hatched. I'm not giving a nickname to Fue Coco. Why do I always do I need to just turn that off. I don't do nicknames. I now have a Fue Coco, a Quaxley, and a Sprigatito, Kaylee. <coughs> Sorry if I found scratchy today, guys. I promise I'm, um, we're just going to turn that off. And we're just going to automatically send them to box. Um, try to save some time. I mean, if I want them, I'll go get them out. It's not like... In previous games, that was a lot more frustrating. Um, darn it. I don't think I can get over that just yet. Uh, once I figure out how to breed and I can get the... Um, get a ditto. It's turtle flu. Yeah, it's something, Bill. You ain't wrong. Huh? But yeah, Kaylee just found out that uh, some family members that we look forward to seeing once a year. They're not coming here. Where are they going? Oh, they're going M&Ps? Um, so are you going to head over with... With mom and Larry, or do you want to wait till I'm done streaming and we'll head over? Are you guys still hearing the game audio? Because for some reason, I'm no, not. To oh, Haley took away my my sound, y'all. <laughs> Haley took away my sound. Okay. <laughs> There we go, it's back. I was like, where did my game audio go? Um, but yeah, we get we look forward to seeing this side of the, or like this, all of Kaylee's family that comes in once a year, they make it in for, um, oh man, the fire or a choreo too. Oh yeah, there we go. This is one that I don't have yet. But they make it in about once a year for Thanksgiving. So it's really exciting when they get to make it in. And so we'll head over there after I get done streaming. Or you may go first, I may do it later. But we're excited that they're, they're so close. Hey, y'all like my coffee cup. I'm pretty sure it was one of the first things Kelly bought me when we started dating. Now let me tell you, it's a good day for coffee. So we're headed over here so that I can start the process of trying to get the evolution item for my Charcadet. Because I want to evolve that today on stream. That is that is absolute goal number one. But Coco's to level 10. You go, Fue Coco. You level up, Fue Coco. We'll let it level up for a few minutes while just here in the chat and in the party. Um, it's a tandem mouse. Wait, that's not mouse hold, is it? That's tandem mouse. Yeah, that's just tandem mouse. I don't want to take on that section of the game yet. Personally, I'm not ready to... The battle team star. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, is that a wild cyclozar? It is. Oh, 
I can't believe how early he is in this game. Listen, y'all, the scam calls are out in full force today. What stopped you from using Cyclozar, if you don't mind my asking? I said if you were using one for a while. I'm just uh, another opportunity, something else that you could use. Like, what was it? Because it seems... It seems so good. Like, I'm just excited to... Oh my gosh, look at this deerling! Oh man, it's the green one. Die. Y'all, I'm totally stoked for Kaylee. Um, once we finish the devil in me and things kind of get, and she finishes up, um, Playtale Innocence. She should be in the relative area of starting uh, Pokemon Scarlet. I'm not going to say for a fact that that's the next game she's going to play. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Scarlet will be right after. Uh, but that'll be a straight to YouTube, so if you want to catch that, remember to go over to our YouTube channel at K2 Gaming KY. Um, let me throw that up in chat so it'll be easy for everybody to find. Um, you can find our Twitter and our um, our YouTube there. It'll be an easy quick link for you all. Haley will be playing Pokemon Scarlet. It'll be her first ever Pokemon game that she plays hopefully for more than 10 minutes because I'm a terrible backseat player. So when she gets to start playing, I'm going to be taking a step back and I actually will not be watching her gameplay until it goes on YouTube. The only way I will be knowing what's going on in the game is if she asks me a question and then I'm going to do my best to not even look at what she's playing and just kind of try to answer it as off, uh, without revealing too much as I can and not giving my input. Other than, hey, this is what you probably need to do. <gasps> Tauros! I got a little too excited. Let me flame charge. Oh man, that's horrible. I'm gonna eat that up. Oh, don't you know? Man! Charcadet, you weak. No, it's not. It's just a baby. It's just a baby. You got you wet. You got you evolved a baby. Um, let's go with Tinka Tank, because it's going to probably resist some of its moves. Or Tinka Tuff. Apparently Tinka Tuff is the, uh, the cheat code mod in this game, from what I was hearing from somebody earlier. It's like, it has a... It has only like one matchup in the entire game that it's not strong into, of like all your major battle. With its its diverse move pool and its resistances and its ability to uh, take this. <coughs> so we're alive, Charcadet. Yeah, I mean, they're so early in this game. Oh, I did not think of that. Oh. I was so scared that was going to be... Oh, it's not going to resist fighting type moves because the it being super effective and then having resistance is going to counter. I forgot that. Mm. Tink a tink! already got till Mr. Flora got them. Which happens to be the name of part three of our Violet playthrough up on YouTube. 
And when Kaylee and I was talking about what we were going to name it, we both looked at each other and went, Double Argato, Mr. Forgato at the exact same time. And then that was when we realized that we've been married too long. I don't know, but we can finish. I mean, we're already at a point where we can finish each other's sandwiches. I really gotta not watch Frozen. I have no excuse for the amount of time that I like to watch Frozen because I have no children. So it's just a really weird 30 year old fat man watching a Disney cartoon about a woman singing Let It Go in the snow. Hey Lord. This thing's stout. I kind of want to find a place for it on the team. Uh, go back into Tinker Tough. And I'm just gonna throw a great ball. I'm gonna stop trying to get this puppy in a Pokeball. What is Tauros' topping on? Is it dark fighting? You end up going with Sprigatito. Sean's in the right club. Sprigatito club, baby. Oh, you have amazing news, Doodle Bop? I'm always in the in the market for some amazing news. Oh my god. This is not number one. Pokemon that has some resistance. Let's look to see if I got anything else. Oh. Nothing in there is it is not going to say that Pokeball. Not any of them. This is the highest catch rate Pokeball I have right now for this Pokemon. Tauros was caught, baby. Oh, White Cup goes about to evolve. Wants to learn to generate. Yeah, we don't. Want to uh, we'll get a back one. Actually, I didn't even take the chance to look at what, um... Oh, we got a... We got Mantula in chat, guys. Oh, congratulations, buddy! Getting married on Halloween. Engaged. Oh, man, that's awesome. That is so cool. Um, oh, it's just, it's just a fighting type. That is so exciting, buddy. I'm so happy for you. Um, if you need... If you need someone to perform the ceremony and you want to do it online, I'd like to set up a little camera. I am uh, certified to uh, perform online. Just ask Sean. I gotta go back to Wiglet is an absolute abomination. I agree. <laughs> I don't know that I could make it to Wisconsin, but if you set me up on a little camera, we can do we can we can do it that way. I promise I'll wear a suit from my waist up. Just kidding. I will make sure I have pants. I will tell you the best thing that happened. Oh, that would be super cool. Um, I will run that by her. I'm sure she wouldn't mind uh, the idea of a, of a getaway trip. Oh, there's a Pokemon Center that I don't know that I've been to. Nope. And yeah, if I go here, I can get a... Wasted a bunch of items, chat. I just wasted a bunch of items. Because I was not smart enough to try to see... No! Oh. 
So once White Coco evolves, White Coco's probably gonna find itself on the on the bench for a while. Um, I want to. Oops, there it is. I know I'm not bad on anybody in through here. What else did he want? Did he get five? Okay, cool. Nice. Hey, take those things. It's fun. Are uh, you okay, sweetheart? I just heard it really loud. You what? You, you say you stubbed your foot? Watch your profanity. Okay, little Kevin, she's like, that hurt like a butt cheek on a stick. I'm like, watch your profanity. I'm gonna knock this thing out before it matters. <laughs> that was good coffee today, sweetheart. Hey, 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 come here. Hey, come here. Hey, come here. Yeah, yeah. You. Hey, little son. Awesome. Sean's in the Discord now? Fantastic. Bailey! It's enough, honey. Bailey has decided it is prime play hours. Remember guys, check down in the lower corner of your chat. There is uh, where the channel points typically would be. You can see our Corgi Boofs, which are just basically our channel points. I wanted even a fancy name since we lean so much into the Corgi side of things here on our Twitch. It's got a sombrero. Hey, hey. So if you want to check into the Corgi Boofs, use your channel points. Uh, uh, did you know? is where you will get a random fact from me um if you um hey it's okay hey 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 yes yes okay listen this is life with corgis people people glamorize it they're like oh you got corgis corgis are so good corgis are amazing might i add they're wonderful they're beautiful i wouldn't trade anything in the world for my corgis Sean coming in hot with the, did you know? Sean, did you know that there's 200 or $293 to make uh, ways to make change for a dollar? This includes change in dimes, quarters, and a combination of the two. You can figure out all 293 combinations. Can you figure out all 293 combinations? But you get, you can redeem a bad dad joke. I'm thinking I might lower that one if I'm being honest. I think it could benefit from being a little bit of a lower cost. Um, something similar. I might actually raise, did you know, up to 100 channel points maybe. But I also kind of like it. Not a lot of people are, are using it if I'm being honest. So it's probably okay that it's not um, much higher. Who really knows? No, you only have a debit card. Sean's blowing us up today with the... Shit. Someone redeemed Stretch yesterday and I straight up popped all kinds of weight. <sighs> Doodle box off the hydrate. Strawberry clear American water. That was last that can. I also could have hydrated with coffee. Sean also redeemed tell a bad dad joke. Uh -huh. Probably the ones that I have a list of them that I keep. I'm trying to think of the ones that I, I've used and I haven't used. Is that a Dunsparce or is that a Dud Dunsparce? No, that's just a Dunsparce. Hey, hey, it's okay. It's okay. Um, where do fruits like to go on vacation? Pear, yes. I hope to in the near future. It may not be for the next month. 
uh, set back up our catch fish on Fortnite. What in the world? Welcome into the chat, Kentuckyville. <coughs> but I need to get more Pokemon packs. Once I have Pokemon packs, we will open back up the channel reward of uh, opening packs up. Understand that. Not gonna lie, at first I didn't totally understand, but I get it now. I figured that was it, you know, like logic dictates and tells you that that's probably what it is, but at the same time, you know, I don't want to be that guy that's like, oh, this is this person's nickname, so I'm not, you know, I didn't want to. I'm weird about that stuff. Like, I don't try to, I don't like to play a lot of guesswork. Okay, who did we bench? We bench, benched. Palmot. What is Palmot? Like, what is... Let's see what Palmot has. Pick summary. I like Palmot. <laughs> Excuse me. Kaylee's uh, coming in hot with that today. Ready to drop the burn. Um, I'm trying to think of... Like, don't get me wrong. I really love Palmont. Love it. But it's going to get replaced eventually anyway. And I'm trying to think of anything else that I could play on the, put on the team right now that would be a lot of fun to level up and use. And sadly, I just don't think that there's anything there. Kill a waddle. That's it. That's what we're doing. Do I have a second one of those? I thought I caught another one. Oh, I didn't. Watt tool. That's what we're going to use. So that's going to replace here. Um, mainly because I know that as soon as my... Um, as soon as my... I really like waddle. Um, but I know as soon as my legendary becomes something that I can use, um, it's going to be, be getting a lot of use. Did you just say, oh no? <sighs> that was scary. Sean, I'm just now seeing Jinx for the first time. Thank you so much, uh, Lexi, for joining the Discord. That's awesome. Whoa! Doodlebot! Oh, that's awesome, buddy! Thank you so much! Holy cow! Gifting out two tier one subs to Mock Punch, aka Joey, and to Sean. That's awesome. Holy cow, thank you so much, buddy. That means the world to me. I need to start playing. Guys, that is super disgusting, and I'm so sorry that I don't really know what else to do. Maybe I can, like, turn my webcam off for a minute or something. Maybe that's what I gotta do.
I appreciate it so much, Doodlebop. It means the world. That means now to our newest subscribers, you can use our lovely suite of Corgi emotes. Listen, I'm nervous. We gave Sean access to Corgi emotes. This could be really good or really bad. What do you think, Kaylee? I'm not listening. Oh, Sean is now a subscriber and he has access to the Corgi emotes. What? Sean is now a subscriber and has access to the Corgi emotes. I'm a little nervous. Oh, Kaylee has headphones in. She's watching one of her stories. Uh, yeah, let's catch a little waddle or waddle up. We have several female Pokemon on the team. The sad here's the thing that uh. She, is she watching telenovelas? Yes. It's called Pretty Little Liars. And if it isn't Pretty Little Liars, it is um, Melrose Place. Now I'm getting stared down. What about them? Oh, I said you were watching your stories and Sean asked if they were a telenovela. Not right now, but... Sean asked if they were a telenovela. And I was like... Yeah. Yeah. Mostly. Oh, no, it was Doodlebop that asked if you were watching a telenovela. I thought it was Sean. My bad. <coughs> oh, you're listening to a podcast right now? Are you listening to murder? Toad's cool. Oh. Guys, we got a vol beaten chat. Let's uh, flame slash this. I it. I forgot that was a grass top. Oh dear lord. try to knock this out so we're going to um, I think I'm actually going to move Char Cadet as much as it pains me to say it out of the active what kind of Pokemon is what oh Toad cool it's like it's supposed to be like Wiglet. Like it's a descendant or it's not the same type, but it's got like it's it's like Wiglet to Diglet, but it's Toad School to Tentacle. It's a grass type poison type, maybe? Let me look. I'll pull up the Pounday and Pokedex here. I'm just gonna play with this. I look at it every day. Toad School is a ground grass. A ground and grass type version of Tentacle. Wow. Okay, listen, I'm about to find a way to get this Tauros on the team. I'm thinking that... Mm. Tauros is lit, man. Like, this is a strong Pokemon. Does Tauros get, um... 
Intimidate. Whoop, the intimidate one. Yeah, he gets intimidated. Yes, please. That sounds way too powerful. A jolly Tauros with uh, Intimidate. Oh my gosh. Why does that sound like a cheat code? Oh, Salt Cure. And this is how we're going to cheese our way. Hey, buddy. Hey, come here. Through a bunch of stuff. Kingsley, come on. Hey, go buddy. Okay, fine, I'm not gonna let you out. Hey, go, go to mommy. Come on. Go on. Come here. Let me have him for a chance to camera quick. Just for a second. Hey, hi, everybody. I hate going across the kitchen floor. So, even when it's time to potty, I get scaled. So, I won't go potty unless somebody carries me. I'm a three year old boy that has to be carried so I can go to the potty. Rotten. Awesome. That sounds fantastic. Uh, an update on the schedule. Uh, I know I didn't share that earlier. Um, I am still on the fence on if we are going to Where'd that booger run off to? Come back here. I need you for my Pokedex. Let me get the Toby to see him if she's down here. No, but there is a Miko. Philip, will you trade a Toe Beans can for a Miko cam if I can't find toes real quick? I know you're getting a major, major markup. You're getting a, a more expensive one for half price. It's your Miko cam. Because I couldn't find a toes beans. So you get a Miko cam. Miko is gone before I get lit up. Uh, much agreed. So Phil, you got a Miko cam because there was no way I was getting I could find a toes beans. Oh, it has Mega Drain. Listen, if it was not needed for my Pokedex, I wouldn't even be trying to catch it if I'm being totally honest with
Why is Sam Howell trending? dive let's take a look here the dive is a physical it's better than walk <sighs> I need to give Finn in some more moves let's do it this time okay if you don't mind we'll we'll, we'll follow your lead there uh Finizen. I wonder if I have anything I can teach Finizen to kind of give it a better move pool collection at the moment I still never. Uh, I get boxes and bag mixed up a lot in this game. I get a lot of things mixed up in this game. Y'all, this is probably the longest I've played a Pokemon game and not had my starter evolved by this point. with Icy Wind. Goodbye, focus in here. I know it is a, um, you can learn draining kits. I'm gonna be going for that over. I know those are both special attacks. Yo, what's up, Code Red? Code Red's in the chat, guys. The party has started. The party has started. Go red is Um I know it's a I've got it set up to be a physical attacker. I mean right now that's what we should probably lean into. But Electro. Oh, yeah, we'll set that up in a second. I'm probably going to put it in the space of the the rock type for right now. Uh, I'm going to go over this. I'm going to go over Spark. Give me just a second and we'll, we'll make that trade happen, okay? Let me get to this tower so I'm not having to avoid Pokemon. Sword power. <clears throat> I was like, where did this lot come from? And then I realized Kaylee has now opened windows in our home. Which is not something... I don't want to battle you, Tauros. Well, I want to get an egg from Doodlebot, our resident breeder. Ah, my goodness! Stop! No. No. You know what just hit me? I could have been will o wisping this thing and cutting its attack in half. Why have I not been thinking about doing that? not get down to that platform. Okay, doodle ball. I'm setting up a code. 
Or I'll let you set up a code. What was the code we used earlier? Code Red, how are you doing today? <clears throat> oh, we still have it in. The one, uh, one four one seven one four one seven. Yep, let's just run with the same code. How are you doing today, buddy? How are you enjoying uh, Scarlet and Violet since you've been able to play it? Okay, cool, cool. I'm doing great. It's been a very, very good day. We got three moderators in chat, y'all. Still loving it. Shame. I'm sending you this love disc because it's not one you have in your Pokedex yet. So I hope you out with that. <coughs> Code Red. As you can see, we now have a, a Discord that we've got set up. So here you are. If you would like to join the Discord and talk Pokemon and all other types of fun randomness. It's there. We are also still taking server suggestions. Uh, there is a memes, please. Oh my gosh, Grips. That is the worst meme. It's movie leaks. And it the one below it, gas leaks. Oh my god. What's up, Durbin? You've been playing Scarlet all weekend? I guarantee you're farther than me because I've only been playing this as I am streaming. And we've had some issues in shortened streams compared to what I would like to do. But I'm happy to see you in the chat, buddy. How you doing? How are things? Uh, we're going to put Nalskak on um, the bench till we get this Tauros. Hatched and uh, Solosis in chat, everybody. If you're not, if you don't play the Pokemon community game with us, you can start by hitting Pokey Start, and you'll get yourself a starter and some free Pokeballs, and then you can use Pokey Catch to catch any Pokemon as they appear here in the chat. Uh, yeah, I do want to look at that again. It's the Black Friday deals for GameStop. <clears throat> Haley's in cleaning mode, so that means. Um, Things are going by a little fast. Just it. Oh, the tissues. Uh, I'm gonna... You can get it from there? Okay, cool, cool. Durbin, um... Durbin, do you Discord? I think I've asked you that. Um... I just shared it a moment ago in chat, but we n I now have a Discord for the channel. So if you would like to Discord, my brother, you're always welcome to come on over and hop in with us. You, uh, it'll be fun to learn, buddy. So you said I need to jump down. Well, that didn't work. No one caught Solus. Solus. Oh, cool, you're going to hang out with Spot and watch the game. Hey, that's cool, though. Okay, I got to figure out how... Maybe if I fall... Yep, there we go. That worked. Tailwind, baby! Or as Wolf Click would say, the world champ difference, baby. Start off by Yeah, check us out, come in and chat. We've got a we've got a magic section. Uh so did you accidentally connect again? Sweetheart? 
get back into the live gameplay. So what we had done was we we burned Tauros to kind of lower, and it's still hitting like a mad truck. Uh, switch to Tinky Tink. Excuse me. Maybe that one was better. I don't know. I gotta stop now. But thank you for coming by. Thank you for, uh, Gee Cheese. Yep. Um, Code Red is lurking. Um, but sorry about that. We, uh, like I said, when someone hops in your chat with a name, I burp. I follow if you can burp. Which I did not get a follow out of that, apparently. Oh well, the things things you'll do to try to grow your channel, and then they don't work. Because that person is no longer in the, if my users in chat is correct, I follow if you can burp is no longer in the chat. So I just did that on, on air for, uh, for nothing. Ah, well, it was funny. And sometimes that's all you need. Just a little bit of fun. It's a Murkrow. So listen, y'all. Pokey Sports just posted a Trick Room team using Tatagiri and Don Dozon. Or the Do Doze Don Don Dozon. I never get the thing's name right ever, but it looks super sick. And if you know me, I'm all about the trick room. It's a, uh, let me pull it up and I'll, I'll pause the audio real quick. So we're not playing their, their stuff in the background. Um, but I will pull up or I'll share the pace with you guys. Uh, cause this team looks stupid good. Oh, I went to Neil BGC. I didn't go to Pokes Court. This is a long one. But I'm super stoked about this team. It's probably the first competitive team I try out. Um, but it looks so good. A Flamigo, man, that is my, it's probably my favorite name in the entire game right now, if I'm, if I'm being totally honest. Gosh, they throw up like a video when it gets like so many views immediately. But it's Brute Bonnet with Focus Sash, Mimikyu, Don Dozo with Assault Vest, Tatagiri, Iron Hands, and Torkoal. Alright, guys. Paul. Oh, the beauty that is that team. The beauty that is that team. I'm gonna shoot Philip a text real quick. Let him know we're back up. Burped on stream and the dude dude split. <laughs> I hope they just like had to leave for a few minutes and they'll come back. I feel kind of, I feel weird about that. Like someone convinced me to burp on stream, which is kind of disgusting. And then I do it and then they split. I'm gonna be a little more, uh, I need to be a little more, uh, Um, 
selective about the things I'll do to get a follow. Man, I'm just trying to grow. I just want to get out there and create a good, uh, a good community. Have fun. So I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not above making myself do weird things. Speaking of growing communities, uh, if you're new, we do have a Discord now that it's set up. If you want to give us a follow and stuff, you can also hop on over into our Discord. Uh, I'm going to switch Pokemon. I'm not going to take on Azermeryl with my, with my fire type. But we are going to Domo Arigato Mr. Floridato. Once I get Waddle up to a good level, we'll start actually using Waddle more. Quite excited to use Waddle, actually. Um, Waddle's almost there. We're getting close. I'm not gonna teach it uproar. I don't like uproar as a move. I don't like moves that lock me into the same move for several turns. I have a hard time with that. Let's keep pushing forward here. Let's go to the Poké Center because that's what we were really after is to establish these uh, fly markers, our fast travel waypoints. Hey, there's a city we could pro we probably need to go visit. <coughs> Wait, is that already a fast travel for me? What am I headed to? That one. Okay, no, so it's not. I need to take Charcadet out of the open. We're gonna put Waddle in the front. That way Waddle can start working on getting good um, XP. Aw oh, man. That poor Waddle. Oh, I meant to look at this. Did you guys know about this? Um, hang on a second, let me, let me look for it. Um, somebody was talking about this earlier. You get items for doing a certain amount of things with the Pokemon. <laughs> Thank you, Code Red. So, like, if you go into your Pokedex and hit X, you can go in and they give you items for basically... Yes, Ghastly looks amazing in these games. Gengar looks great too. Um, but like you do so much. Uh, I'm trying to think of what it is you have to do. But like seriously though, check this out guys. So like you get so much for doing different things in the Pokedex. I'm not real sure what all gets it for you, but like you get so many different things. And I need to figure out what it is, but you get items just, just for doing your Pokedex. Listen, I'm going to have to fight a bunch of Tauros when I get out of here, alright? Take your time, buddy. Enjoy your lurk. <coughs> Excuse me.
Oh no. Hey guys, Clifford check. I understand that code red. Uh, Kaylee right there in Wild Month Stream is actually working on cleaning our house since we got family members and stuff coming in that she would like a nice clean house for. I'm not gonna lie, I love the original Tauros, but this Paldea in Tauros is beautiful. Also, I'm decked out in Capitals gear today. Caps play tonight. I'm really hoping we can get a win. I'm a little nervous. Um, we've got um, Philadelphia, which is playing super, 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 super well. Um, I really wish they weren't playing super, 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 super well. Uh, I mean, they are on a bit of a losing streak right now, um, which means that they're probably going to be a team that's hungry to try to get a win. Um, I talked about this the other night with uh, the guys on um, the Sports on the Hill podcast with Robbie G, um, one of our wonderful moderators here. And um, their coach is one of these people that don't expect um, anything less than success, and he's going to be very hard on them, and so they're going to be looking to get out of that loser's column. And the Capitals are on a skid right now too, and we're, there's a lot of things that if you're – if you're paying attention to us, you can kind of exploit at this moment. Ooh. And so I'm not super, super thrilled. Have we already been to this one? Yes, we have. Let's see what we got. That's new. Ooh, psychic. Oh, no, it wasn't psychic. It was a psychic type move. Agility. Sorry, my bad. I was about to get real excited for a move that I can't actually teach. try to find there it is I need, a, need more starly feathers in my bag before I go and start trading stuff in for this. Right there. Man, it's special attack's a lot higher. Well, acrobatics might be better. Whoa, it's got a dragon terror top. How did I not realize that? Yeah, we're gonna put aerial cutter on here. Or air cutter on here. Just because I think that it would be more effective with where our current um I've got I'm working towards that Gimagoy evolution. We'll get there. 
Where's your pet? Not Iron Roost. It's not the moment. It's the Emergental. We got a lot of stone. Kind of nice. So, I know if I basically follow my trajectory, we're going to go into this. So, I don't want to go into there right now. Our goal is to get here. I'm not ready to take on this because if we go back and we look at our path, um, that's like number seven, and I've only done through four. So, our next needs to be the number five, but I'm trying to evolve. So, we're going to kind of focus on that for a few minutes. tell you a lot of um, a lot of the stuff has been broken up which is kind of nice um ooh Carlia uh let's thunder wave just to make sure that we Oh, avoided the attack. Oh my gosh. And now I'm confused. Uh, so we're going to switch into Pokemon. It's up to Tink Tink. I don't know what's happening, but the doggos are in it. Not many I mean, it took a decent chunk from them. It's gonna put them back in. Don't think he makes on it. Metal claw, baby. That's what I meant to use. Every time I say baby now, all I can think of is wolf click. World champ difference, baby. I watch way too many Wolf Click videos. Let's go, Zangoose. You can feel my wrath. Guys, give me a second. I'm gonna run some stuff by Kaylee real quick. You're out of busy.
It is not ha hatched yet. I swear. I try to turn everything off to get Bailey to calm down and to talk to Kaylee for a second. Um, <laughs> Bailey! Doodlebop, I need to send you a team that I stole from Pokestop. Oh, here it is. Live on live on tape, baby. Right here for you, Doodlebop. Quit, Bailey. Let's put this puppy over. With a to intimidate, and it's a jolly nature. Yep, awesome. We got an intimidate jolly nature Toro. Thank you so much for that, Doodle Bop. I need to send you this team that I'm going to be trying to construct once I get to that point in the game and I'm able to do it because I think uh, Pokey Sports has gave me my first uh, team. Who knows if it'll be good? Uh, I suspect because Pokey Sports has put um, has put it out that it's probably relatively decent. Stop. Stop. You want to be famous? Y'all, don't get squirmy dogs. We're squirmy. Why does everything avoid my thunder waves? A super potion. Not gonna be super great into the the kill or the waddle. Well, thunder wave again. Especially since it's using workup. Attack and special attacks rows. There we go. There we go. Now it's air cutter. Aha, we found the secret. Wow. Anger point seems pretty good too. What was the game that I liked with the planets? Destiny? The, like the FPS game that I, I used to play some? Just making sure I know what we're talking about. Whoa. Waddle evolves this fast? Holy cow, kilowattle. Look at that beautiful flying electric cup. Y'all see that Tauros try to come in hot and take me out. You want some? Yes, and some. Yeah, it is. Um, the problem I have is, is like their price on all of their stuff has gotten exponentially higher when they release new content. It's a lot harder to just, I know that they made the base game free, which is great, but also very aggravating at the same time. Because here, here's the sad part. You used to get expansion passes for like 20 bucks. And that was awesome. I don't mind dropping 20 every three months for 
expansion onto a game that I really, really enjoy a lot. The problem that I have is when you up it to like almost the price of a new game, every three months, I really don't care that your base game is free anymore. I just don't. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm selfish. Gosh, man. I think it was Red D. Haha. -ha. But when it costs me the price of almost a brand new video game just to play your expansion and you release one every three months, I'm a little less likely to be like, yeah, give me that game. So, I haven't played it much. Uh, I probably should consider it. I know it's a game that, that some people like, so it's not... Um, I mean, I know it would probably help people with... Like with the channel, people probably wouldn't mind seeing Destiny content. I don't know. It's not like I play it at a high level, so I really don't know that people would necessarily want to watch it. If it's something you would want to watch and you're in the Discord server, throw it out there. We'll have that discussion about it. Um, I don't mind to get back into it. I loved it when I did play it. Um, but like, I'm not, like the problem is, is I don't play like Crucible a lot. Like I'm not a person who likes to do the PVP aspect. I like the player versus environment to do the stories and stuff. And I don't think Destiny's the kind of game that gets a lot of people for just the story, you know? So there is that. So I both love that I can I can maneuver around the um, the battle scene as we play it, but at the same time I get a little bit aggravated because I have to fight so much to get everything into camera shot. Magnemite! Oh my gosh. Magnemite Sprite in this game is so sweet. Air cutter. Because I don't think it'll hurt it too much. Yeah, I won't knock it out. It's not very effective. And it was a critical hit. So if it ate that like that with a critical hit, I think we'll be mostly okay. Can't um, paralyze electric type there, man. Am I? Huzzah, baby. World champ difference. Wow, Kentucky plays in about an hour. There's a point in my life, and some people can attest to this, where if I had saw that, the stream would be ending in about an hour. But, this to me is a lot more fun and a better use of my time than watching Kentucky play basketball. I don't want to say better use of my time. I, I still would, like if I was not streaming, I'd probably, I would absolutely be watching. But like, I'm gonna be honest, like I'm having too good of a time hanging out with you guys. And everybody's gonna, like most people would be like, oh, you're just down on them because they lost to Michigan State and Gonzaga. No. Okay, if we're, we're losing to good teams, okay? We lost, quote, we lost a double overtime to a good team. And yeah, Gonzaga kind of beat us 
like a pulp, but, you know, I can't be that upset with that. It's Gonzaga. I mean, they're a good program. Are they as good as they was in years past? Probably not, but Drew Timmy is a great player. He's a fantastic player. Um, and they've got a program that has proven that they, they know what to do to try to win it. So, no, it doesn't bother me that we're still in the process of trying to get um, the team built back around Oscar Shibway and Xavier Wheeler after they didn't start the year. And, you know. Yeah, Michigan State lost to Gonzaga by one, and we took Michigan State to double overtime. Okay, we had an off night shooting-wise. That hurt us. There's things on the floor that could have been executed better, and if you expect your team to play at 100% every single game, you're going to set yourself up for disappointment. Yes, Kentucky is supposed to be a winning tradition of a school. I 100% agree with that. Uh, we, we, should, we should be doing our best to win games every opportunity that we get. But that should also be every school. To expect Kentucky to go out and be undefeated every year and win the championship every year is entirely unrealistic. And we're asking too much from young men who are 18, 19, 20 years old. You know what? As long as we are a team, I am happy any year that Kentucky is a four seater better. Okay? I am absolutely, totally acceptable. Do I want to be a one seed every year? Yeah, you have, sometimes you run the chance of having a much better um, um, run to try to get to the championship. And that's totally awesome and totally fine. But we don't have to be a one seed every year. We should be a good enough program, which we are, that it's not really a big deal what pro or what number we are seed wise we have a chance to go out and compete the same as any other one seed or lower we have the talent i fully do believe in the talent that we have you know in my opinion there's not a team out there that we need to really go out and worry too much about maybe i'll get hate for that but that's fine you know i try to keep it realistic i love my team I got a lot of stuff going on right now that I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to grow this channel, trying to grow the Discord, trying to grow the YouTube channel. I'd rather be here with you guys playing this awesome Pokemon game, even if watching um, Kentucky would be a fantastic time. No, so you can't catch the Titans. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I caught this in a Terra Den yesterday. Or, a, yeah, a Terra Raid. Uh, it was Kilowattle. I got it. It has a Terra type of dragon, which is really cool. Uh, but, yeah, it's Kilowattle. I'm a pretty big fan of it, if I'm being honest. It's, it's, oh, it's a Meryl. Go catch us a Meryl. Robbie, thanks for hopping in, buddy. How are you doing today? It, yeah, it's a fantastic, like it's huge. <coughs> Excuse me. I was about to say there was a period of time there where Doodle Bob was in and we would have almost had almost all of our, um, <laughs> all of our moderators in chat at the same time. Cause we've got Kentucky Phil and Code Red and now Robbie, you're here. And some moderator we made named Stream Elements. I'm not real sure who Stream Elements is. They never seem to speak in chat. Probably you're going to have to get on to them, man. Yeah, it looks huge. Like, its sprite is so big when it's outside of its Pokeball. Luckily, that does not have its ground top yet. Probably you missed the capture card issue earlier. We had another capture card issue. 
<laughs> they speak when spoken to. Okay, Robbie. I mean, I consider you pretty much like our head moderator, so... You know, if you think that they're fine, they're fine. I'll trust your trust your judgment. That's not to talk down about any of the other moderators. Uh, it's not what I'm saying in the slightest. It's, uh... Robbie has done so much behind the scenes to try to get the chat set up and running. What did, what did one wall say to the other wall? I'll meet you at the corner. I told that one on chat the other day. Chuck Norris is his own line of the DMV. Right? But no, I know Joe told that one on the on the, the stream the other, the other day. What did one wall say to the other wall? I'll meet you at the corner. That's hilarious. Ooh, pin urchin. This isn't trying to play it off as their own joke. Darn you, stream elements. Darn you. I don't know why, Robbie, but anytime that I'm on the beach or in the water and I'm dealing with uh, these, like, aquatic-style Pokemon, I immediately think of you. How many times are you going to hit me with that? Never put an emoji in a subject line? Who in the world would put an emoji in a subject line for an email? Thanks, Robbie. Have a good time, man. I don't want to quick attack that thing, so we're going to Ultra Ball and see if that helps. Talk to you later, Robbie. Have a good day. Have a good trip, man. Philip, who in the heck put a, an emoji in their in their subject line? That's, that's no offense. Who's that dumb? The emojis are crashing the, go the the email server. Oh my gosh! Wow. I need to throw out something that I can hit. I don't have to physically connect with this Pokemon. Both kill a waddle, or not kill a waddle, but uh, think it tough. We're gonna revive kill a waddle. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know why. That's rough, dude. Like, like, aren't we at the point in our lives where, like, we should know this stuff? Like, if you're, if you're dealing with, if you're at the point in your life where you sh you're going to be dealing with the government for something, like, should you not know not to include that in in a, in a chat? Like, am I the only one that's thinking this way? It is? I am? Okay, I'm sorry. But I mean, like, you know... At some point, like, should you not be... Like, a little more understanding? Like, w that should be common knowledge at this point for most of us. Oh, now I caught you. After I weakened you, and you knocked out Pokemon, and I had to use a lot of items on you. It want or IT want what? 
Okay, you're gonna have to, um... I t oh. Jeez, buddy. That escalated real quickly. Hey, we got a Crabomitable in chat. Holy cow, that's a big one. If you're gonna try to catch this, you better be throwing an Ultra Ball because that's gonna be a tough puppy to catch. It does not have a high catch rate. Fully evolved for Pokemon. But if you are... What did I not do there? Finizen is one of my favorite Pokemon in this generation, and I'm so sad to sit here and basically just slaughter full sets of them. I get you, Phil. There's a lot of stuff, but that is, I mean, not. Yeah. I'm still shocked that someone thought that it was okay to put an emoji in a, in a subject line. Oh, man, I didn't catch it. We're in the East Pod ANC. Anything over here that we don't have? The big nugget. Ooh, what do we got over here? This is gonna be another one of those situations where I run into something. It's gonna be like level 45 is what's gonna happen. Okay, that thing's gonna be like, oh my gosh, there's a Gyarados. Please don't be like level 45. What terror topping is that? Put the Terra Tops logo. Guys, um. I'm just trying to figure this out. I guess we could also do this. Oh, I've never ran into this Pokemon before, so I don't have a clue. Don't tell me what's super effective and what's not. Oh, it's a normal top. We're gonna Thunder Wave this puppy. It's on 37. I can probably catch this, uh, but it is not gonna listen to me, and that's okay. Uh, is Kill Waddle, like, why is Kill Waddle moving slow? Huh? If that's just normal, use the area cutter. Yeah, see, I'm not hitting for any type of big damage. That's not gonna be holy crap, even even not super effective. Oh that was just normal effective. Let's send this in. Send in uh Florgato.
The game seems like it's moving kinda slow. So oh, this is really likely to have some type of poison type move and I really don't want to Terra... I don't want to Terra top into my grass. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm glad it's something good to listen to while you're, while you're cleaning, my friend. I'm glad I can make that terrible chore at least somewhat bearable. You know what, we're gonna do it. Is everything still coming good for you guys on the stream? Like, am I moving normally? Is there any lag for me? Cause like... Oh, I, I understand that. Uh, let me know if like I'm moving well and everything else is okay. It looks like our bit rate is fine. I think the game is just moving at a lower, a lower clip. We will probably close the game and open it back up after this battle. Please don't kill this Terracot. Didn't mean to throw a great ball. Okay, caught it. Awesome. Maybe there's just a lot going on in these frames. It's causing the game to be kind of kind of slow. Who's learning dual wing beat? Oh, kill what is learning dual wing beat? Oh, ho, 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 ho. I love dual wing beat. Mm. I'm gonna put it over quick attack. I know it's bad to not have anything outside of just its two main coverages, like its top coverages, and I'll adjust later. But right now, it's a um, its special attack is growing like crazy, so it's really hard to want to remove air air cutter because air cutter may just be its best move. Yeah, the game's moving kind of slow, guys. So I'm going to save the game real quick, and then we're just going to reboot the game. Uh, stream's not going down, none of that stuff. It won't take just a couple seconds. Uh, I think what I may do is actually take a, a short break real quick. I may take... Um... Oh, wow. But we're going to save again. I think I just did that, but I always seem to forget. I'm going to reset the game, and then I'm going to take a quick break, and we'll run a, we'll a pre-roll ad. Um, just to uh, make sure that we're not dealing with ads for a few minutes. Okay. I will be right back, guys. And we back. Hold the game back up here. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, like I said, the game seemed to be kind of lagging. And I've heard that the best way... Well, not heard. I've I seen it today that... It's like memory leak is causing the major issues in this game. So what they're... Uh, what they're suggesting is that we every so often kind of shut the game down and bring it back on, especially if you're streaming it. Uh, did that Gyarados despawn? Yeah. Shoot, that Gyarados despawned. And I hate farming these. I like Finizen too much to just keep farming, farming it. Like, I get it. I know what I'm doing. I know why I'm doing it. I like it.
Okay. Now, Wiglet, I have no problem beating up on. Oh, I didn't want to battle. Oh, whoa! So the stones are going in December, and you're going to be on honeymoon there in December. You're likely going to run into the stones, man. The Rolling Stones. We got a Zangoose in chat. So that one's got, they got Volt Absorb. Theirs has Volt Absorb. I don't. I think I might have to mute here in a second, guys, and uh, blow my nose, unfortunately. Just getting really, really um, aggravating. myself here. trip on anybody. Ah, one wing beat. Good one, Code Red. Ah. Let's not make too much. I mean, it was a pretty crappy thing that happened. But I don't want to hate on the person too much. Who knows what happened? Maybe they just couldn't hang around and chat. Something happened. Who knows? Am I, you know. <clears throat> Is it bothersome? Yeah. You, you know. I'm very much the kind of person that believes if you're going to say you're going to do something, you should do it. Oh, man, I forgot to mute before I did that. Sorry. And so if you tell somebody that you're going to follow them, you probably should follow them. If, if, you know. But at the end of the day, we don't know what was going on. We don't know what that person's going through, what their situation's like. So I think, I think a ban on them... Um, I don't either. So, you know, we'll ban on the chat. You know, you... Obviously, that's, that's something I would consider ban-worthy. They're out. We'll be okay. You know, I'm at 104. Them being 105 is not that big of a deal. That would have been cool, but, you know. That's how it's got to be. That's how it's got to be. Right, Kaylee? She didn't hear me, so she's not responding. If someone tells you they're going to follow you on uh, Twitch, if you do something like, I don't know, burp on stream like I did today for a follow, and then they leave your chat without following. But I was like, you know, we're, we don't, we'll, 
It's okay. We don't need if we have one hundred four followers. We don't need them to be one hundred five. That's what I said, right, Kaylee? And then you were. Oh, I'm sure. I, I would say that she probably would have told me not to burp on chat or on stream to get a follower in the first place. But I am a. I'm a shill who will do anything for a follower. Within reason. I'm not breaking the law to get a follower, but. And I'm not going to do something that could hurt another individual. And I will do a lot of things within reason. So, oh, Kaylee is actually going to be leaving to go visit family in a little over an hour. So I'm thinking we might stream for a while today. I don't have anywhere to be today. Okay, go on mute. Be right back. same ink and opinion about the if we cook the chili tonight we cook the chili tonight and we have it for leftovers the next several days or if we don't cook it tonight it probably won't get cooked tomorrow because we'll be on uh get all the thanksgiving day dinners and stuff and we probably won't have want to cook or eat that just means when we cook it friday it lasts probably through sunday are you even listening to me kaylee hey <laughs> have i been talking to you this Never mind. What? I was just saying I'm under the opinion that either we, you know, if we cook it tonight, we cook it tonight. If we don't cook it tonight, it probably won't get cooked tomorrow due to Thanksgiving meals and we don't want to eat. Which means we'll cook it on Friday, and if we cook it Friday, we'll have a few leftovers through probably like Sunday or Monday. So I'm not that, like, upset about that. Oh, I agree. That hamburger meat needs to be cooked, but it's in the refrigerator. We can put it in the freezer, so... Sorry that we're talking about food on here, guys. Um, I am a fat man. So when you come to a fat man's channel, you're likely to get fat man conversation. Coral's wanting to bully you is one of my favorite animations in this game. So I'm using this as a quick way to try to level up Tauros and stuff and get everybody kind of more on a, an even scale. Uh, I would like to get some gym badges and stuff today and I probably need to focus on that at some, some point in time in the near future. But I am, the most important thing today is that we, we evolve, evolve Charcadet. Ooh, there's Teddy Ursa. So we're in the process of trying to get to the place where, ooh, we've been in that. I don't have that yet. <clears throat> Squawkabilly! I like Squawkabilly. I need to see what my kilowattles um, wild power. Oh, wow. So, when you use Tailwind with this, it gets super strong.
trying to catch this internet. Wait, do I have a internet yet? I don't think I have a internet yet, do I? No, I don't. I'm going to um, use Electro Ball here. I don't want to knock it out. And I knocked it out! Oh well. We, uh, there'll be more in the area that we can try to catch in just a second. I think there was one hanging around up here. What is this? Ah! Oh, Kaylee! What? It's Kamala, the ko koala Pokemon. It reminds me of you. Oh. You wanna see it? I'm gonna try to catch it. So, when Kaylee hugs me, she basically decides that she's gonna, like, attach herself to me. Let me see. The one on bad one. It's so tiny. It's you. She's so small. It's you. It's a s well, smaller. No, I did that now. But Kaylee like attaches herself and like I don't want to hit this with anything. I'm gonna paralyze it if it doesn't help. Because uh, like I know if I. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna switch out into Tauros and see if I can put some damage on it because Tauros is probably the Pokemon that I have in the party. I'll probably go to Finizen. Yeah, let's go to Finizen. And put some damage on this bad boy. Granny Kiss is probably what I'm going to go with because it is going to help give me a lot while I uh, battle on to Kamala. Fingering Milo's famous sweet tea. Milo's I am. Not sponsored, but man, I really, really would love to be. And like, I said, like I tell some people, just like Bang Energy, man. You ain't, you ain't got to pay me. Just, just, just give me your product to use while I'm on stream and off stream and whenever. Okay, Fitness and Grudelzy. So we're gonna switch Fitness and out for Toro. Um, mainly because I don't want Fitness to fall asleep. But everything else is so much further up in level right now that as I promised after this, we are going after um, we are going after our our item to evolve Charcadet. That was that's the objective for today. You know, I plan to be on stream for a little bit longer. Uncle Phil, sweet tea. Listen, Uncle Phil, as Kingsley and the Bailey would call you, your sweet tea is the best sweet tea of all sweet teas that have ever sweet tea. But you don't sell your sweet tea. You give your sweet tea freely. But yes, you know if you want to, if we want to make up a, <laughs> a fake logo, I will put it on the stream of Uncle Phil's sweet tea. We can absolutely do that. I would love that if I made on just for the just for the funsies. Okay. So what what did we learn earlier? This thing does not take an energy ball. So we're gonna switch in to not venison. You poison my killer what all Prepare to die. Uh, 
I need to catch it, but I'm not gonna do it. But I would love it. Mm -hmm. Hey, we got a Wilmer in chat, guys. Solo, Pokeballs now. Powered by instead of sponsored by, powered by, yes. We are 100% powered by Uncle Phil's sweet tea around right here. Listen, so I'm gonna I'm gonna share something that could get me kicked out of the state of Kentucky and out of the South just in general. I never was a huge fan of sweet tea. To me, I was like, why drink a sweet tea when you got a perfectly fine and healthy and good looking um, uh, Mountain Dew sitting right there? <laughs> um, you can tell that I was, why I'm a diabetic. Um, but the only sweet tea for a long time that I would drink was Philip's sweet tea. So, yeah. No joke. I'm, it, it literally changed the trajectory of everything that I like to drink. And I moved to sweet tea after finding out that I was a diabetic. Uh, I know that that seems like really weird, but the amount of sugar in a sweet tea is significantly less than the amount of sugar in a pop. So, it's kind of safer for me. And I still get that little bit of, how you say, what we really drink a, what we drink a pop for. <coughs> cool. What kind of din is this? That's gotta be a dark top one, right? The dark top waddle. Tough breaks the mold, baby. Yeah, look at that, chat. My goal is to complete the first of the Team Stars areas today. Evolve. Shark and um, we'll catch this mainly because I want as many special pterodops as I possibly can get. Take a look at the bag. I know I got candies now, so let's get those in here. Get you leveled up. Get closer to the rest of the team.
Oh, that was sick. How did I not know that was something that this does? I whip my meat right on back and forth. I whip my meat right on back and forth. Okay, I have to stop. Because I now realize what this does and I'm a little too into it. Of a grassy terrain. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, just get that heart break there, Doc. Awesome. Welcome back, Code Red. Cut open the baby, it took us 13 days, but she is finally healthy enough for us all to be together. Awesome! Let's throw some hype in the chat for Caleb getting to bring his baby girl home after 13 days in the NCIU. And I, and I see you, Nick you. Uh, Caleb, I know middle name's Jane. Please share the first name with me one more time. Um... Well, he's not, I mean, like, I remember Jane because we named a Pokemon after it on Pokemon uh, Shield. But yeah, let's throw some ch hype in the chat, guys. Let's get that hype out there. GG Corgi for Caleb for the Strix. Elizabeth Jane. Yeah, come on. Throw that hype out there. Let's Let's get excited. Whoa, okay. Hashtag baby strong. Hashtag baby strong. And hey, in the grand scheme of things, 13 days in the NCIU is not as bad as it could have been. You don't want to spend any days there. But, you know, it could have been much worse, so excitement. Wow, I did not mean to knock that puppy out that quick. Excuse me. But I'm so happy that she's finally home. How's, uh, how was mama doing? You have no idea what's happening in this game. Well, right now, I saw a Pokemon that I really liked and needed for my Pokedex, and then I accidentally knocked it out. And it had another spawn somewhere over in here, and now I can't find that spawn. Oh, that's a Snoodle. I already had that. Oh, there's a Pikachu. Eddie Ursa. Uh... 
I need to figure out that my kilowattle is going to knock out a lot of stuff. There it is. The what Pokemon? <laughs> we'll go with Finizen because I don't think Finizen can knock it out. Yeah, you can only have six Pokemon on your person, uh, which they call a party. You can only have six Pokemon in your party at any one given time. Uh, you can catch as many Pokemon as you want to have in reserve, though. So, like, there's a lot of Pokemon uh, that I have in my PC, which is where your where your Pokemon get stored. They get a, they get stored in your PC. So I have a lot of those right now. Um, But I'm trying. You have a Pokedex that you have to collect, which I think the the Pokedex number for this is there's 400 Pokemon in the Pokedex that you need to try to catch. <laughs> Ash Ketchum is a is a <laughs> it's a hiring dream. A 10 year old with 25 years of experience. You rat. You rat. Hey, he is, uh, he is finally, uh, I think I can probably get rid of Bite. I don't know that I need it. For, over Slash, just for Slash for now to give me some more coverage elsewhere. I thought something was about to evolve. I got really excited. Um, but yeah, you can have, like, if you look, I've caught all these Pokemon. Oh my gosh. We're running from you because I don't really feel like battling you right now. Uh, you want to fill out your Pokedex. There's things, you know, you obviously get rewards for completing the Pokedex and stuff like that. Um, we are going to leave Finn as an in front. <coughs> uh, no, each of them have different abilities that do different things. Like Finn is in here. Um, right now, it has Water Veil. When a Pokemon prevents it from being burned, so like it can't be burned. Uh, when it evolves, it gets one called Zero to Hero, which lets it turn into like a heroic Pokemon. It looks like Superman, but as a fish. Uh, this is um, this is Kilowattle. When it's hit by a move that does wind or tailwind is set up, it's next to electric type. It's super, super, super charged. Uh, this is Charcadet. Charcadet has flash fire. Uh, it absorbs the, the fire type attack that's done to it, and it powers up its own fire type move. So like if something hits it with uh, as flash fire up, its next fire attack is or fire attack is gonna be huge. Uh, Tauros, this was originally one of the 151 original, but this time they it got a regional variant uh, to where it's a fighting type now, and they changed its color palette. It has intimidate when it's sitting in the battle. It um it lowers my opponent's uh, attack stat. This is Florgato. Florgato has overgrow uh, when it's when its health is low or it's uh, Affected by some type of status, its grass type moves get stronger. And this is Tinkatuff. Tinkatuff has Mold Breaker, and it um, it doesn't allow any of the. Uh... No wonder people judge the game. Yeah, yeah, it's a, uh, you know, it's not for everybody. It's and they can have their opinions, and their opinions can be wrong. <laughs> that's just that's just my humble opinion. What'd you say, sweetie? They're entitled. Yes, they're entitled to the wrong opinion. Not really. I shouldn't say that. It's not not necessarily a wrong opinion. I mean, you can have whatever opinion you'd like. Um, I don't have to agree with you, though. You know? Ooh, I got the loaded dice. I'm not really sure what that does, but I got the loaded dice. I know it's one of the new items. I need to check on them. But it allows when it when it turns into that and gets the zero to hero move or uses the zero to hero ability. It uh, right, so it looks like it has uh, so it is a Pokemon that acts like a motorcycle. It is a, uh, a dragon type that hat can like transform into means of transportation. It's, in my opinion, a whole lot of fun. 
Caleb, you're making me feel real self-conscious about Pokemon. I'm gonna pause and drop all my nose again, guys. Be back. I can breathe out that nostril for a few minutes. Yeah, you're making me feel so subconscious, buddy. But it, it powers it up, makes it stronger. Um, <clears throat> it has a special move that it can learn that gets a boost whenever it's in that form too, so, you know, it makes it hit a little tougher. You're genuinely curious, I'm, you know if I wanted to talk, <laughs> I could do better than most. You are not wrong. Listen guys, Caleb is uh, getting a trash talker. Been there, done that, got that t-shirt. But yeah, so if you see it's actually a Pokemon, but it has varying forms and it can like extend and it gets its legs and stuff. Oh man, I'm all the way back. That, oh goodness, we are nowhere near where we were trying to go. Hey, hey, you got one. You got Cloyster. You did that with a normal Pokeball and I had to use a uh, Great Ball. I'm not jealous at all. I really don't want to go into this area yet. I don't want to battle in here. I am not ready to battle. If I go this way, I'm 100% I'm going to run into the Team Star, right? Yeah, I don't want to go into the Team Star Comp. Okay, so we're actually going to advance to the place that I've been talking about trying to advance to all stream because I keep getting distracted by new Pokemon. This is what happens, y'all. Carcadet, hands down, nothing close, absolute favorite. Um, will be a staple of my team, and the you know, only problem is that it's a fire type, but what that means now is whenever I am doing any type of run on any game that has a uh, my opportunity to use a full national deck, it will replace um, Chimchar when I can't use a Chimchar. So, Carcadet, absolutely. Bug top, uh, challenge alone will just hit. No, I didn't want to use that Pokemon. I did not want to use Finizen in this. I'm used to kill Waddle being in the front. Yeah, not judging at all. I played a ton of Elden Ring, and you literally spend half the game riding around on a ghost horse with horns that can jump over mountains and can't but can't swim. Games are weird. Games are very weird. Um, it's so. The funny thing is, is in, in Scarlet, the other version of this, like, because when Pokemon releases, they release two versions which have different things that make it what it is. Um, I don't really have a better way of saying it. Um, wow, I'm not going to be damaged at all. I've got to rely on this other stuff. I really messed up this stuff. Um, I'm going to keep trying to get this thing lowered down. Um, okay, you said no more Aussie win. Gotcha. How does uh, Priority Aqua Jet though? But, uh. <coughs> okay, cool. Um, the other version you get here right on, which is the. Uh, for lack of a better way to say it, it's like it's like the Pokemon I'm riding around on, but it's orange and it's kind of like a past version. Um, two different Pokemon, but it's more past because Scarlet's got more past-based Pokemon, where Violet, the one I'm playing, is kind of more futuristic, like 
is more metallic and Pokemon of that nature, like a bad eel. Um, But it, it has wheels, but it still runs. This makes no sense to me. At least mine, at least mine, when it runs, it runs like it has its wheel. I have a calendar. In this thing. Yeah, I have a calendar. Okay, cool. <laughs> the Lord Groot, who's been hanging out in chat because uh, he's at work today, has officially said that he is going to be buying Violet soon. We've convinced him, chat. We've convinced him. Listen, y'all. It's that time of the year where I can get the really cool, like, designed sugar cookies from the store. Like, you know, you know the ones I'm talking about. It's usually, like, the snowmen and stuff. We found Buddy the Elf cookies last night, which Kaylee is bringing me right now. I'm going to take a couple of these because I don't want to eat too many things. Um, but they have a tree from Buddy the Elf. Hmm. It's a hat. Oh, it's a hat. It's elf hat. It's the elf hat. I'll, I'll answer that in just a second, Caleb. So the the quick answer is yes. Um, the main storyline you battle a lot of NPCs, but for players like myself, Doodlebopped. A few other people that you'll you'll commonly find hanging out in chat. We play um, Pokemon VGC, which is basically it's the newest game. So like we're about to start playing on this one. Some people, if you're still playing at the moment, which I'm not sure, that anywhere is actually playing a whole ton of it right now. Um, a lot of stuff is kind of paused till we get to give people time to get through the new games and get teams built and stuff and then we we actually have like leagues and uh, competitions that we do like through our discord and stuff oh by the way caleb discord um that I wouldn't remember but I now have a discord so I will send you that right here in this second Caleb, if you spend any time whatsoever on Discord, please consider going and joining our Discord. There is a spot to talk about magic in there. You can also talk any other various games you'd like to see play on the stream or that you want to chat about. So we do now have a Discord that people can join and come hang out. What level was that? Oh man, they got a rough look. We're gonna switch into Kilowattle. 
I still didn't heal. I went to multiple Pokemon centers and did not heal. What am I doing? <clears throat> I know what the name is. Cat, but could... Did nobody at Game Freak catch... Anis A-N-A-S was probably too closely related. I appreciate that, buddy. You'll get to see when we go live. And like I said, there's plenty of places um, to talk, you know, magic and other other games that you might be interested in, man. So maybe you can get, um, get some enjoyment out of it. Uh, we're adding a mental health channel or section of the server for people to come in that if you just need somebody to talk to, um, you know, you'll have friends to kind of be there and help listen and talk through things with you. <coughs> Build up a very positive environment. Good place to hang out. This, oh, there is a Gyarados. Just out here in all of its natural glory. Too good, y'all. We ate that up. Yeah, we certainly appreciate you joining. Not as much as I would hope to, if I'm being totally 100% about it. Um, I would like to get out to the burg a lot more. And to be honest, I should get out to the burg a lot more. But with gas right now being as high as a hippie at Burning Man, um, it's a bit tough. But I really should. Um, it's not from a. It's not for a lack of desire. Um, <clears throat> I'm hoping to go play. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'll get there or not. But I, I had hopes to go play the St. Jude event. Um, um, like I said, I want to, but I'm a little nervous that I'm not going to be able to. Um, 
Hey, we got a patch of Risu. I like me. I like me some patch of Risu. Um, I just honestly haven't got to play Magic like I want to these days. Um, Sorry, guys. The Bayful Strix, I love that. I love that you act, your name is actually the Bayful Strix. a trip Tennessee around mid-March I may try to come up for an FNM or maybe a Saturday just to play MTG all day I will tell you this right now you have my word on this if you make it in <clears throat> I will make the trek to Williamsburg and come hang out and I will buy your food at least one time in that process since my stupid butt forgot to send you a wedding invite five years ago. And I owe you one. So, unlike the last time I owed you one where you got full art mem nights, this time I can offer food. You still have those full art mem nights? have any fighting type there yet so I'm gonna leave in Finizen yeah the last time my idiot self ended up owing you one you ended up getting four impacts <laughs> back when they were like a lot cheaper if I can remember correctly than what they are now what is a full art moon not running for now? Eight bucks a piece now, and that's it. That's like the lowest price. Hot dog. I think I played. Uh, you got them signed. Nice. I think I paid maybe five bucks a piece for them at the time. Yeah. To a collector, unfortunately, if you try to sell that to somebody. Don't 
no. Oh man, I'm gonna some bands. Uh, if you try to sell that to anybody besides a collector, you're gonna get. They'll probably pay you less. Do I have anything that's super effective on this team? No. So, let's go with. Floragato. Floragato. Tell me, oh my, Dara, oh my god, oh Mr. Floragato, domo domo. I really need to do that, evolve that, so I can stop singing that song. Don't you dare. Let's say, don't you dare go to sleep on me. Um, let's go rastalize and see bomb. I needed to do because I had who was the artist that did grape shot um I had a play set of grape shots <laughs> nice from that game day oh my gosh that was the game day that I ended up playing Hoffman in the finals and I lost when he was using uh, the brick of a deck and he comes back a week later and tells us on the, the store, store Facebook page that his win was tainted and illegal because he was sideboarding out too many cards. And my only question was, how does a judge not remember the sideboard rules? But that ended that like stupid run I was on. Like, do you remember that? Like I was on the dumbest run of my life. Like I think I had went like 18 or 19 games and not even dropped a single set. Like in tournament play. Eight draw spells and 48 lands. Oh my gosh. I, that was the deck you played. Holy crap. I forgot that was the deck that you played. Oh my goodness. Yes. That deck was stupid good. Oh, I can't switch out. That's not good. I'm in a weird pickle. Here's Draining Kiss. I don't think that it's going to do anything. I'm using a fairy type move into a fairy type. Yeah, it does nothing. This battle is going to take a hot minute, guys. I'm really sorry. I didn't know the cliff key had a way. Fairy lock. That has to be it, right? Because you wanted to tilt people. That was a thing for a short amount of time, and I'm not really sure why. But all everybody wanted to do was to play every basic land art opposite. Mix up full arts, old bordered, new cards, white bordered. <coughs> everything they could. 
to tilt their opponents. And let me tell you, the number of games I actually probably lost to being tilted because my opponents had mismatching lands is way higher than I care to admit or have a desire to admit. Because Caleb, you can attest to anybody out there, when it comes to my TCGs, I like for things to match. I want things to match. I want them to look nice and well put together. Oh man, right to kill a waddle. Or a waddle. I gotta stop calling it kill a waddle. It's a waddle. What's up, Snowy? Snowy bug. Hey, Snowy. I don't know if I invited you. I may have. I don't have a clue. Discord. I now have a Discord. Please feel free to join. Uh, you don't have to. I know that a lot of people have a ton of discords that they're currently in. But there is a Discord. But thank you for hopping in the chat, Snowybug. Excited to see you, my friend. I hope you are having a good day and you're having a good Thanksgiving holiday week. If, yeah. I honestly don't know that I know your nationality, so you may not even let me celebrate Thanksgiving at all. And I feel really bad for not knowing that. As many conversations as we have, I feel like I should have known that by now. Sit back and we'll wait here. We're gonna have to take the dig attack. I don't know that it's gonna do way more than it should. <coughs> also, remember the enchantment stack I built just to. Yep. Yeah. It was 100% removal and no wing cons. I just. I just. I just played until you got frustrated and scooped. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that happened. Man, I miss that rally deck. Like, <laughs> is that not all Thanksgiving truly is? Is another reason, um, another reason to eat. Like, when you're a fat guy like me, you look for any reason whatsoever to eat. Um, yeah, you're not wrong uh, there, Caleb. You you certainly did do that, but I missed that rally deck. If there was any way that rally the uh, rally the ancestors deck could be ported over into Pioneer, that's what I would have been playing by now. Guys, I'm sorry. I sound like a train wreck. I have strep for the fir fourth time since August. Perks of working in a high school. And then I went to the doctor last night and got a shot of Rosefin in my hip. What is that? Is that a growl? What in the world is this beautiful thing? I know it's a Terra, but it, it had the coloring that made me think that it might be a shiny, but I know it's not. Uh. I don't want to knock it out. We're going to use Draining Kiss. If that had been a shiny, I would have lost my mind on stream and you guys would have been able to see that. Yeah, I was going to say that, should, that shouldn't do much. It's still doing way more. Or waking up, so I'm going to have to bounce. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to you too, Caleb. Uh, Tell, um, tell Shawnee I said hi. I have, so here's the funny thing, I gotta tell you this. I have a student named Shaughnessy. And now every time I say the name Shaughnessy, I think of Shawnee. But when I'm talking to you, I forget and wanna call, say Shaughnessy. So I'm having a really hard time with that. But tell, I hope Shawnee's doing good. I hope everything. With the baby is going okay. I'm glad you guys got to come home right in, uh, right before Thanksgiving. Uh, after all that time in the 13 days in the NCIU, remember, guys, 
Throw it out in chat. Let's get hype. Caleb finally got to bring his baby girl home after 13 days in the NCIU, so we are celebrating that today. <clears throat> I'm gonna switch, because that's 100% gonna knock me out. But dig here won't do anything to me. I don't know what happened here. Maybe I shouldn't use dual wing beep. Okay, so cool. I know how that works now. <laughs> when the terrestrialized Pokemon and they use dual wing and you use dual wing beat on them and it's gonna break the terrestrialization, it does not knock them out. Thank you, Lord, for that. But Caleb, you have a great Thanksgiving too, my friend. I like that emoji. I swear, guys. Four times in about three months is is too much. I'm averaging about once every four weeks or three three to four weeks right now. I'm getting this. It's ridiculous. It's unacceptable. No one should be getting sick this often. Ah, I don't want to battle. Not wild. I need to heal because I'm about to. If I get in another trainer battle, when you don't want to battle, hop over the Pokemon. I want to go get my finish cleaning for the day, and I'm gonna sit in my fire. <laughs> Do it, buddy. Give yourself a break. Please have something that my Finizen can can beat. Oh, what is that? What is that? I want it. Awkward yet. Right. What? Okay, I'm gonna look this up because I need to see what this is. It's a Varum. Varum. It's a skill poison top. And I don't have anything that hits super effective and just go with poison and I do that. Does that work? She's in the window. There's also a Bailey right there. It's a Bailey. So give me a minute, Philip. I'll, I'll redeem that for you. Philip coming in with the toes being cam. He got a Miko for a toes being cam earlier, but I don't think that, that was enough. We all need the toes in our life. Yeah. Give me just a second, I'll grab her. Oh, they're all four right here. Have to go back. 
People wants to see you. I got to talk. He said, hi, Uncle Phil. Hi. I'm here. I'm my toes beans. My toes beans that you took out of a window. Good girl. Beans, buddy. Hey. Hey, let her go. Hey. No. Your cat's also in your lap. Her is so fluffy. She's a little mad at you right now, Uncle Phil. She was in her window. And now Kingsley is, uh, is gatekeeping and won't let her back to her window. Neville the Devil? Oh, that's the name of your cat. I was like, wait a second, what? Oh, she didn't make it back to the window. Good job, Toes. <clears throat> Where's Kingsley? King Bowie. Kingy. There he is. Here, come on, let's say hi. You wanna say hi? You wanna be on camera? No. You just wanna be good, Bowie? Kingsley's just hanging out in the wind or down by my feet. But this is enough for me. This is where I want to be. I'm gonna switch back out into kilowatt here. Hi, Bow. Oh, so you do want to come up? Okay. Come on. Nope. Free Kingsley cam. My cat is my stream mascot, Neville, so Photoshop to him. Photoshop him being uh, mad, that's Neville the Devil. He was more of a jerk when he was younger. I hope Miko becomes nicer in her old age. This is Kingsley. The cat was Toe Beans. Bailey is right there asleep on the couch. This is Kingsley. This is my three-year-old boy, Corgi. It means goodbye. Aren't you, King? They say hi, Kingsley. You want to say hi? You say hi? Say hi to him. We all, we love our doggos here on the, in the Rising. There is a place for cute pets in the Discord, so called fur babies even if they don't have fur they're totally acceptable in there you have turtles the only thing is is please warn me if it's a snake is kingsley who your mascot is that's who the who the corgi boofs are uh and the the um emojis are based on kingsley is my kaylee and i's first dog first pet actually well not really our first pet our first pet was stinker but Tinker got really sick, didn't she? Because she had a one in a million thing happen that wouldn't happen to any of her kitty, but it just so happened to her. We had to say goodbye. And now he is sad. But we also have Toes, who is like, if I believed in reincarnation, I'm telling you right now, I would say Toes is Stinker, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. Bye -bye. We'll put you down now, okay? Yeah, we had a, when we first moved in, my mom had a cat. No. Uh, like, I need to point this out. We moved into the house, and the only reason that Stinker was here before Kingsley is because my mom was already in possession of Stinker. Kingsley moved in a week after we moved into our house. <coughs> yeah. Um, Stinker got bit by a tick, Robbie, and the tick, there is something about, like, 
there's a certain blood type or something that lives in a bobcat. Um, I'm trying to think how to say this. Like, there's a there's something like something that can be in like a disease or something that does not. Other than a fish growing up, we traveled a lot, and they don't think it, they didn't think it was fair. I get you. Um, but like, there has to be some type of disease or something that a bobcat's come into into contact with, and that when it comes into contact with that bobcat, it actually causes the bobcat to um, mix with the tick's blood. And when it mixes with the tick's blood, it actually causes the tick to start carrying a very, very specific disease that if it bites a, for lack of a better way to say, a house cat, it basically kills every white blood cell in that cat. And that is what happened to our poor stinker. Was we got, we it was like right after COVID had started, we were all working from home. There was a major hurricane that hit, and when that major hurricane hit, we lost power for like a week. And so they were kind of hanging out down here while we were up at our my mom and or Kaylee's mom and dad's. And we come down one night to feed them, and we noticed like she wasn't going to her food, which Stinker is or was very much food oriented, for lack of a better way to say it. And so we were a little concerned. We were like, that's that's really weird. She's not going to her food. So we took her to the vet and they kept her overnight. And yeah, well, we called a check-in the next morning and I got that really bad news. And yeah, it was way harder than it needed to be. Um, it was a struggle. But yeah, so it was really our, our first pet. It was kind of my mom's pet, but might as well have been my pet. So we need to look at our... Uh, actually, I'm going to look at that for a minute. Robbie, did you know about this? If you go into your Pokedex and you hit X, you get rewards for based on like how much you've done in the Pokedex. Like, it blows my mind. I, and nothing in the game tells you that. Like, nothing. So I got really, really aggravated that I did not know about that. Yeah, we'll learn acrobatics over Astonish. Gladly. Okay. Loaded dive. Oh, nice. That was Liz's and my first our first, and other than Neville, he came with her and she passed as a, uh, she passed as a run just a few years after getting her. Oh man, sorry. Ah. That was gross, guys. I am so sorry. I am so, so sorry. Um, my sneezes kind of come out of, out of nowhere. Uh, like, a lot of people can feel them, and sometimes I can. Sometimes I'll be, like, really, really aware that it's about to happen. I'm putting... I need to... I don't want to put such a weak move on... Hmm. <sighs> We also adopted an older dog named Jenny who passed in 2021 after, uh, after we had her a bunch of years. She was she used to nip at Zach and wouldn't have done too well with, with two kids. We later got Lily that year and she is a giant puppy but an amazing dog. She, yeah, you sent me pictures. She is so pretty. Yeah, everyone sneezes. I try to make sure that though that I'm at least to where someone can't hear me but like the lack of a ooh, 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 ooh. okay, a physical attack here. 
Um, I try to be, you know, careful about it. I don't want to... One, it's loud. I don't want to just uh, sneeze in somebody's ear. Rock Tomb could be fun. I'm going to put Rock Tomb on Tauros. Now I'll maybe start using Toro some. I don't really want to leave Assurance on it either. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, we've got a fan fee in chat, guys. Uh, I'm, I think I've caught that one, so I'm not like super super ready to like pounce at it. Eh, speaking of which, there's pounce. Ooh. Glad to learn that. You can't learn low kick, but it's a fighting type. With the kids, the dot don't she never nips or bites at them, uh, and doesn't destroy too much of their stuff. Though we found a damaged Donald Duck, Duck car today. Aw, yeah. I mean, there's little things like that that happen, and there, it's 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 never easy. It's kind of rough. I need to look at this. So we're gonna zoom out. Here's the fire top one. We're trying to get to this city. So we're, we're on our way there. <clears throat> we we did visit here to where I can go and kind of start working towards that gym badge. Okay, so if I cross this bridge, I should be okay. Oh, there's a gimmigal somewhere. There it is. Excuse me. The map is so big it is kind of daunting. I'm not gonna lie. It's used to, like, I'm not gonna lie. After a little while in Legends Arceus, I had the map memorized. And usually I could memorize a, like, I had the wild area memorized in a matter of days. It wasn't hard at all. Bro, Tom phone. Oh. Uh, the flying titan. Um, it's, a, it's actually the first titan they want you to face. Let me pull up um, right over here. This one, uh, four. Um, the one that shows four is the flying titan. And it gave me, I think you have to get, it might be the second no matter what you do. King Z, go mommy. Wait till I get home. Hang on a second. What level mon you need? That one I think uh, is actually lower than cloth. It's technically the first time I think it was maybe level 16 or 17. So if you have anything over that, you should be fine. Um, my Palmo or Palm. I don't know what Palmy's full evolution is named. I'm kind of fast forwarding to this. I really don't want to know. I just want to be able to, I don't want to go battle this. Uh, they're like level 30s. I'm just not ready for that kind of challenge at this moment. Um, I really want to get my evolution. You got a Pichu and a Pikachu. It should be super easy. It should be super easy. You shouldn't have any. Palmot, yeah. I used Palmot. It, it, it swept it. It wasn't hard. Don't terastalize in the first battle. I made that mistake. It wasn't hard even with me making that mistake. Oh my gosh, do you guys talk forever? Kind of a nose lock in the sense that I don't get to pick the team. Fair enough.
Oh man, that is the director. How did I not catch that till just then? It blew away in the wind. Did you see that, guys? Oh my gosh, that was so cool. It blew away in the wind. But yeah, we're not going to go to that Team Star base. I don't really want to battle it right now. Nice. Since there's no Rillaboom. At the moment that we're able to get a Rillaboom, I'm gonna make sure that you have one, just so you know. I will I will fight through the vast thick of everything to make sure that Zach gets his Rillaboom. I'm sure y'all probably need to just transfer one from from home. Um, and if that's the case, that's awesome. But I still I still wanna make sure as well. Poison tail. Okay, so I need to look at my Pokemon here and I need to know what I got that I can take on. What one has a move that will easily let me take on? Okay. Scarlet for him so he can have his fun running around and I get to play too. <laughs> yeah. Do it. I did it again. At least it's a one star raid, so I should sweep it pretty quick. But oh my gosh, I took the wrong Pokemon into the raid. I've done that so many times here recently. So many times. Do you see uh, Carson Wentz's um, Do for Christmas slash Hanukkah? Yeah. Um, Haley and I decided we would buy our first Pokemon next year for Hanukkah. The weird fact about me, I actually do celebrate Hanukkah over, over Christmas. I actually am not a big... Christmas celebrator. Yeah, I would do that. It would make traveling with a kid much easier. Uh, if you if you wonder about that, Robbie, you can um, you want to figure out why I celebrate Hanukkah. Shoot me a, uh, um, but yeah, yeah, you're, I am not Jewish, but I will, I will, I will explain that to you if you'll send me a, a DM about it. Um, I don't, cause I, I try not to talk any religion or, uh, yeah, um, we, I try not to talk religion or anything here on the channel, or on the stream, just cause I don't want to be, even though I, I I am a deeply, deeply um, faith-based person. Um, very, very much strong in my faith. Um, and as some people have heard, I am an, you know, I can perform weddings, which would lead you to, to kind of know that I'm probably, there's probably some there. Yeah. So we're moving on from that though. Cause I want this. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna put this out there, and then I, I gotta move on from it. Um, I want this to be an open place for all people of all faiths or non-faiths, religions, or any type of ilk that a person can come from. <clears throat> we don't. There is no discrimination on the stream at all, based on anything whatsoever that um, that could potentially, you know 
someone might feel uncomfortable. There is no discrimination whatsoever that happens. Honestly, every person here is valued and protected unless you're being a jerk or a bully and then you can you can see your way to the door. And I will be the first person to be ready to hit that ban button the minute you make somebody in this chat feel uncomfortable. Um, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Come here, baby. Come here, we got to put the onesie on. Come here. That is awesome. I like that. Hey, come here. Um, I like the rainbow Charizard, and I like that Mew too. No, come here. Come here. I believe, I believe deeply in love and accept it, and that's all I'm going to say about that. We're moving on. Okay, do I have anything that can tap? That's all I got to say about that. Love and compassion for all people. Okay, I don't have anything that's going to be able to hit super effectively into this. Uh, so we may see if I can bring in Kilowatt or Palmot from... Do you get to choose from boxes? Hey, you do get to choose from boxes. Cool. Where's my Palmot? There it is. Honestly, kind of miss having Palmot on the team a little bit. It's fantastic. I love that Mew animation. And I love Mew's coloring. Is that the shiny Mew coloring? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. I love that the normal terrestrialization is just a big um, diamond on someone's head. You like it then you should have put a ring on it. Oh, somebody, Redeem, did you know? Please, Redeem, did you know? I have I have a diamond-based fun fact that I don't want to give out if I don't get to uh, uh, to share it by uh, if I don't get to share it by by that. Okay, so, did you know that, hang on a second, I'm gonna try to find, I'm gonna try to find it where I read it, so I'll make sure I get it 100% correct. Okay, either way, did you know that an authentic diamond cannot be seen on an x-ray? An authentic diamond is at the, the radiation that is needed from the x-ray actually goes through the diamond. The Zara shiny celebrity. Nice. Um, so if by some chance, yeah, if by some chance you or a child accidentally swallows a diamond, if it's not fake, it won't show up on an x-ray. So you better hope that if you're married with a wife or you are the wife in the relationship or the one that has the diamond ring, that if you have a child and that child swallows your diamond ring, you better hope that the silver or gold shows up on the x-ray. And it ain't gonna show up anywhere else. It blew my mind. You have to have like a full on MRI, which is not good because if it's on a ring, there's metal in your stomach and you're going into an MRI machine. Hey, there's an Ellie kid. Which right now, Kaylee isn't wearing her actual wedding ring. Um, wedding, great bell.
she's not wearing her actual wedding ring. Um, the place that we we have to go out of the way to get it repaired. Like way, 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 way out of the way to get it repaired. Uh, did I mention that it was way out of the way? And so we bought her um, for her birthday this year. But was it your birthday or last Hanukkah we got you that ring? Birthday. Um, we, um, oh, we got, uh, did we just have a pre-roll ad run? I think we had a pre-roll ad run. Uh, we bought it for her for her birthday so that way we could put away. Okay. Are you all about to head out? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we bought it for her birthday so that way she could put her actual ring up for a while. Um, and use this one in case anything happens to it in the meantime. I love you. She only wears the, uh... Oh, ad time. Yeah. Are you telling me to run an ad, Robbie, or that an ad is running? Because it's showing that my pre-roll ads are disabled for about 20 some minutes or so but I'm unsure what that actually like if it just ran an ad or if we need to run an ad because if we if we want to take a quick break that would be fine I, I kind of want to go use my nasal spray and try to clean up any of this stuff that's in there for just a few minutes so maybe I can get through the rest of the stream without like sneezing or sounding like I have like terrible stuff in my nose which all my ads are disabled right now so Is he eating your dinner? I think he's eating your dinner. And the cats have decided it's prime play hours. There is a meat going in the window. Oh my gosh. Gradient is even more terrifying in this game than it was in the previous game. I wish I would have caught that. We could have took a quick break and had an ad run because I um, wouldn't mind taking a short break, but I'm going to wait till we get closer to where I can run another ad. We're doing a bit of a longer stream today. Uh, we had some technical difficulties about midstream where I had to reset the computer to get the capture card to work correctly because just closing OBS wasn't enough. I had to do a full reset, which was not fun. I need to figure out how, if there's a way for me to not disrupt the stream and have it continue to be one long stream without me having to go and fight with it. I don't know if that's, that's if there is a thing. I'm thinking I've seen streamers do that where they've had to shut down something before. I wonder if I'm doing that because I forgot trying to get that sobble. I got a Kerbominal. Ah. <coughs> hey, Joe UX9 threw up something. 
Oh wow. Oh, cool. He put up a best raid uh, Pokemon in Raids 4. The, um... The Discord's doing really well. I'm really excited to see that's happening. Take it. Thank you all, as always, for the support. Thank you to. I'm, I mean, I'm not going off stream now, but I also have to thank uh, Doodlebop for giving out two gift subs today. That was really awesome. Um, it, it makes me feel so good when there's support. I'm not doing this for that that stuff. I'm doing this for fun and doing this to. Get to build a good community and become closer with people like Robbie and like Noodlebot, and to get to deepen my friendship that I have with um, with my my existing friends like Philip and stuff. But it's kind of nice, like you know, whenever you see that you're doing well enough that people want to uh, be a part of that. <coughs> nah. The quest has, tr has traded away seven water Pokemon there's a cooldown I would so be doing that but it's just oh hey I got draining kiss on finism so let's uh okay I'm just gonna I'm gonna change because I keep messing up and doing that go take it tough we have been going for a while I probably will be hopping off at some point in the near future. Peace out, Gold Red. Thank you for being on today. Uh, letting us hang out while you were cleaning. So thankful for your continued support and all that, you know, the good work you're doing as a moderator and getting to hang out in the chat and stuff. Certainly do appreciate it, buddy. Go get you some rest, though. Fine, you're getting a brutal swing. Only four double waters I want to trade away. Would there be any reason to be willing to... Uh... Yeah. And I know that you mod for a lot of people that play the Pokemon community game, and next time I see a water, I'll make sure that I holler it out to you. No. The starters are never in the wild, ever. you could do that. I need seven more volumes to get my next reward. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we're getting kind of close to the end of the stream anyway. Uh, everybody's kind of needing to split. Um, I've been going for almost four hours. It doesn't feel like four hours. 
Um, I am going to make sure I complete the objective, though. Ooh. And the objective was to get to the area to where I could get the the quest to get my item I need for my Charcadet. So I just want to get to that town. And as you know me, I get way too distracted playing this game because this game is so good. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you want, I'll hop off here for a second. Or you, do you have your switch on you? Like, do you have it to where you can get my code real quick? Because I'll I'll go out to my main screen and we'll I can get we'll get added right quick. There's my my friend code. Anybody else in chat that has a switch, if you'd like to add me, please feel free. <coughs> Whoa. Kentucky playing unit unit UNF and it's fifty four twenty three at halftime. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, Robbie, just shoot me a message when you've added me and I'll make sure I go in and, and accept it. Add that here on stream. Robbie G. Become friend. I like your Kirby. I don't have a darn thing in here that's super fake. We're gonna acrobatics this thing to death. I take it you're a big Kirby fan. Like prior to uh, first emote you do for yourself, you need to show me sometime how to make my own personal emotes. Because I would love to make like Viking Corgi emote. Like a Corgi with a Viking helmet that's way too big on its head. There. I need to get over to there. And I don't know that I can do it without getting to the other side. Ah! How are we going to do this? bridge over here that I'm missing hey we got a mud braid chat I know it's not a water top Robbie so I'm sorry but at least we got a Pokemon no no darn it
Okay. I'll hire you later, Robbie. Have a good evening, my friend. Peace. Much love. See you, buddy. Oh my gosh. The wild carbominable. See you, Mr. Ice Fighting. Bruh. Better go in this Pokeball and stay. I just want to catch this thing and get out of here. So we're gonna we're gonna paralyze it. You're not gonna do much to me with that. I gotta figure out how to get to this other town. I need to buy more revive suit. Kinda in the right path, I'm on the right right track. Nothing that's going to hit that very hard. But I think this is going to be better than nothing.
This battle is way harder than I expected it to be. I do need to get something prior to battling the electric type gym. Wild charge. Holy crap. Why is it not breaking from the terrestrialization? There it is. He's going in a Pokeball or Ultra Ball. Oh, no, you isn't. Now, I'm be super effective here. Not enough to knock it out, so that's a good thing. So we'll do it again. I get this puppy caught. That was insanity. I want to look at that one. I mean, I'm good. Yeah, that's a fighting Terratype. I know what later I can change Terratype, but that was kind of sick, man. I'm kind of glad that we were able to catch that. Just for the sake of being able to have it, you know? Okay. Pitter patter. Let's get moving. Let me go back this way. But I have to get over the water. And I'm trying to figure out what the fastest way for me to do that is.
What do I have here? Nah, I'm not really in the mood. I think I'm gonna go. I can get this to climb up this wall. That's not gonna work. No. I'll get a first somewhere. Someday. I need to get back across to the other side. Drive up to the top up there to see if there's a way across for me. Alright guys, I'm kind of focused. Because we're trying to get to here. the drinky. I want the drinky. Guys, the whole goal of today's chat was to get to this town. The way that it's looking... We're gonna get here. I'm gonna cut through here and see if there's like a way that I can swim across or something. But I'm highly frustrated. I have the stuff now. Oh god, stop me, Tantrum. Good 
Please, any of my Pokemon that's currently in my party learn Stomping Tantrum, because you have no clue how much of a lifesaver that would be. Ah, 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 ah. Yes! Tauros! Yes! You're going over short. So listen, I know I've had Tauros since it was a baby. Well, we're gonna look and see if it's got any like fighting moves in here that it hasn't told me about. It's got double kick. We're gonna get rid of this workup for that. We're gonna have some type of fighting stab, right? I've got a lot to explore in this area, and that is totally fine. But we are trying to find our way. I don't want to advance any more in the story until I have a sort of religion on my team. I don't, but I, let's look at that. What is the Steel Titan in the area that I'm looking at? The Steel Titan, it says do that like Tia. So I'm gonna imagine that that's got a pretty high level. I'm not gonna try that right now. We are in route to one thing and one thing only. I'm gonna try to catch this because I don't think I have it yet. Oh, I do. Then we're not catching that. Roly Coley! I don't have that yet. Listen, Roly Coley in my playthrough of Pokemon, my final playthrough of Pokemon Shield quickly became one of my favorite Pokemon. Ah! Listen, chat, we are going to get to that town before I end this stream. That's gonna hurt, but that didn't do too much. your name on it. Because I'm not in the mood to battle. I just want to get to where I'm going. I don't want to spend too much time. We're going to go to that town. I will not end this stream until we get to that town and I'm starting to get frustrated.
See, that's the problem. I had the item to get me a cerulean. Not cerulean, but an armor rouge. And that, under most circumstances, would be absolutely acceptable. But it's not. I want my cerulean. I want my dark or my fire ghost. That's the whole one that I got. I even started playing Scarlet for in the first place. Okay, it having sucker punch. Okay. You had a chance to stay in the Pokeball. And you said no. Got a fire raid in right up here. I will have to come back. It looks like it's up on that mountain. Ooh. There are Gen 9 Pokemon that I've not seen yet. Well, I've seen it. We battled Varum. I've not had a chance to catch a Varum. Well, I now have a room. I like to still poison top. This section of the game is so pretty. It does such a good job creating like the wasteland feel. Like that desert wasteland feel. What's a Meowth? I have a meal yet? I got him. Oh. There's a silly cobra behind me. Please. Nice. Mm, 
I want to. There's a Bagon group near me. Where? I'm a fellow that likes my Bagon. There's a game to go somewhere. Oh, there's a Harry Rama. still over here. Ooh, a Rahorn. Rahorn in chat for anybody that's interested. Uh, Missed the Hariyama outbreak. Darn it. That happens. I will survive because the real destination is in sight. What we have been working for is just a just upon the horizon. Never mind. It's right there. Ariyama! Come on! I'll go with rock tomb. Right, Harry Yama. Our destination is very, very close to us. I don't want to battle you. I 
I probably need to come back into this area and train a little bit in the near future. Plus, I know there's more Pokemon in here that I need to come back and catch. There are a lot of trainers that I need to battle. More hair on. I will admit, chat, at some point in time, I've got to really buckle down and get through the story of this game and get this game beat. Um, we're getting very, 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 very close to having to start back up VCL. And I have not even started on a team yet. I'm gonna have to um, start pushing through the story a bit faster, and I know that's that's it's 100% my fault. I want ultra balls and quick balls. We have made it to the town. Now I just have to find the person that wants to make the trade. So let's find that person. And see a trade. Okay, now we need to find out Sinistee's location. <coughs> it is... East Providence 3, South Providence area Let's take a look at our map. Does it tell us this stuff? It does not. Where is East Province? That's in Scarlet. Okay, so it's the area that we just came out of, actually, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we'll have to wait till night time. But for now, we're going to save right here, guys, and we're going to start working towards our item on the next one. Um... Thank you guys for coming and hanging out today. It means the world to me. Um... Very, very um, thankful. Sorry, I got a notification for Twitch. I'm very thankful for each and everybody that comes out and hangs out. And we've had a really good stream today. Uh, things have been great. I had a lot of interaction, a lot of people hanging out, a lot of new people going on. 
I found out that you do not burp for people if they come into your chat and say, I, I follow for a burp, because they will then leave. So I learned not to be super gullible, <laughs> but I appreciate it, guys. Uh, remember, you can catch any of our past videos on demand at our YouTube channel at K2GamingKY. You can follow Kaylee, myself, and our gaming channel on Twitter at K2 Gaming KY, Titan, at Titan Rising KM for me, and at Lost Girls Like Us on Twitter. We now have a Discord called The Rising. Please reach out if you would like to be a part of The Rising. We'll get you that locate that uh, link sent over. It would mean the world to us. Uh, thank you guys so much. I will be back sometime tomorrow. Watch the Twitter because I still don't have a start time. Uh, if you if something happens and I don't stream tomorrow, I will be back on Friday, 100% sure. And it'll be at 1 o'clock. And Friday, we're likely to stream for a very, 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 very long time. Because I have to get through as much of the story as I possibly can. Because I've got to get through it so I can get start getting prepped for um, competitive competition. So I thank you guys so much for being here today. It means the world to me that you all spend this time with me. Um, Y'all are great and fantastic as always, and as always, thank you so much, and this stream has been too sweet.